But because of you, I left the valley unprotected. I left my friends unprotected. Welcome back to the trends and to another video covering one of our favorite animated franchises. In today's video, we'll talk about DreamWorks' Kung Fu Panda, regarded by many fans as the almost perfect trilogy. Are you one of those fans? We sure love Poe's story, and that is why we couldn't be happier knowing that the fourth installment is in production. That is right. Do you want to know everything about it? Stay with us as we review what the franchise has been so far and why Kung Fu Panda 4 it'll be different. Let's begin. Me teach? I mean, why not Tigress? She's always telling everyone what to do. Be quiet, Poe. You see what I mean? The Kung Fu Panda trilogy takes place in an alternate China populated entirely by anthropomorphic animals. We follow the adventures and personal growth of Poe, a giant panda who, against all odds, is chosen as a Kung Fu master and must learn the ways of Kung Fu alongside the Furious Five, Tigress, Monkey, Mantis, Viper, and Crane, a quintet of warriors he has idolized since childhood. He doesn't only prove himself worthy, but he also develops his own natural style, surpassing the abilities of his heroes and becoming the legendary dragon warrior, a protector of his village, his master, and his fellow kung fu practitioners against an old nemesis, a dangerous conqueror, and even a menace out of another dimension when he has to learn to control the mystical force of chi to defeat an old apprentice of the master of his master who returns from the spirit world in search for revenge. This trilogy received critical acclaim for each of its movies and enjoyed wide commercial success thanks to the ongoing interest of the public in the characters and their journeys, especially Poe's. Oh no, it's true. You guys have all been turned green. Except for you, Mantis, you were already green. After the trilogy was done, DreamWorks decided to expand the universe into what we've been calling the serial trend in this channel. We're sure you noticed it, right? This new compulsion of studios to create TV shows and animated series around the universes they have built in their movies. Well, Kung Fu Panda has been doing it for a long time now. They started expanding their series even before they were done with the movies with the Nicktoon series Legends of Awesomeness that went along for three seasons from 2011 to 2016. Starting after the Kung Fu Panda 2 and spawning beyond the premiere of Kung Fu Panda 3. In this show, Poe and the Furies 5 defend the Valley of Peace from villains of different kinds. All the while, Poe makes mistakes, learns lessons, learns more about the history of Kung Fu, and meets other famous Kung Fu masters. They then released a second series on Amazon Prime Video that lasted for two seasons in 2018 and 2019. The Pause of Destiny was set after the events of Kung Fu Panda 3 and showed us a new adventure in which Poe had to learn how to manage to teach four little panda kids who were accidentally imbued with the chi of ancient and powerful kung fu warriors known as the Four Constellations in order to defeat an evil force who wishes to take over the world and steal their chi. Finally, The Dragon Knight premiered this July on Netflix and brought us 11 episodes of a new quest in Poe's history. A few years after defeating and mastering the Chi, Poe must leave his home and go on a quest across China to find four elemental weapons that broke up the world a long time ago. He found new enemies after partnering with an English knight and an open finale of the show seemed to indicate that there's a longer journey to be made. It's still green, it didn't work! Oh, wait, that's my normal green. <laughs> Baby. Not a baby! Not a baby! All fans can tremble in exhilaration because the fourth movie will be a reality, as this sequel has been officially announced for March 8, 2024. Sadly, there's little to no information about the movie because it's already in its pre production state. Even the official announcement was made via Twitter in a totally surprising move by DreamWorks. We can do this. We can learn Kung Fu. We can be just like you. According to Collider, no directors of the upcoming animated feature have been announced yet, but more announcements are likely to come as production for Kung Fu Panda 4 begins to gear up. Jack Black, who plays Poe in all of the films and spin-off shows, will likely return for his role in the fourth installment as everyone's favorite panda. Due to the film's early stages of production, it remains unclear 
if any previous voice actors like Angelina Jolie and Dustin Hoffman will be returning. Okay, there are no confirmations regarding the cast, but seeing that Jack Black returned for the role in the Netflix series, we can almost be sure that he'll be reprising the most important character of the franchise for a new movie. After all, the guy is Poe, right? It's really difficult to imagine someone else being a better Poe than Jack Black. And yeah, the actor Mick did an outstanding job voicing the panda in Legends of Awesomeness and the Post of Destiny, but come on, it's just not the same and you know it. We can't help but wonder who else will be joining the movie for a role of the antagonist because the trilogy always employed the best ones for these roles. Only A-list actors have been part of Kung Fu Panda's select group of villains. We had Ian McShane voicing Tai Lung in the first movie, Gary Oldman gave life to evil Lord Shen, and J.K. Simmons closed the trilogy lending his magnificent voice to Kai the Collector. We're sure they'll surprise us with another fantastic performance in this baddies department. Oh, and we can also be pretty sure about James Hong returning to voice Mr. Ping. Sadly, there's nothing we can say at the moment about the rest of the gang. We could expect Dustin Hoffman, Jackie Chan, Lucy Liu, Angelina Jolie, Seth Rogen, and David Cross to return as Master Sifu in The Furious 5, but some of those characters have been previously recast in other products from the franchise, so it's not a sure thing yet. And this time, you won't be there to stop me. <sighs> this is the moment you've been waiting for. That was everything we got from DreamWorks and their Twitter announcement of the movie. So it seems we can't wait to find out too much official information for the time being. But as always, we have some pieces on the board to think about what they could be doing next story-wise. The last time we saw Poe, he was very busy with his adventure. He and his new English companion were deceived, and they had their ancient weapons stolen from them and sailed away, heading toward England. We could be seeing something along the lines of this travel since Poe will need to embark on a second phase of the quest if he wants to retrieve the stolen weapons and effectively protect the world from these lowlives. But the thing is, we find it very unlikely that they use these villains or this storyline from the series in a major movie. It would be bold to force the audiences to watch an entire spin-off if they want to understand a movie. And yeah, Marvel is kind of doing exactly that, but apples and oranges here. We can't compare Kung Fu Panda and the MCU. Our guess is that DreamWorks will come up with a new original story that could incorporate some elements from the series while creating something new altogether. After all, we don't think that they could measure up to their villainous predecessors. What do you think? I think he heard us. I didn't hear anything. Uh, he said you're a loser. Are you ready for a new sequel after the trilogy? Some might think that a fourth film is a bit too much, but since they have done so much with the animated series, we could say that they are way beyond that point, aren't they? Let's hope they keep that spirit from the original movies. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Check the rest of our channel for more content about your favorite animated movies, and of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn your notifications on by hitting that little bell if you want to keep receiving awesome stuff like this. Bye. Hmm, what do you say, Ugwe? Do you forgive him?